Watching that interview with Carrie Lake, interesting character, feisty, mm. a tough cookie who's clearly going places in America. But it's interesting, isn't it, this cultural divide. She finds our monarchy pretty bonkers and the whole thing behind it. Mm. We find their, their gun violence and the lack of willing to do much about it yeah. pretty bonkers. Like, what do you make of it? I, I may be no supporter of the monarchy, but it doesn't kill people the way guns do in the US, <laughs> uh, USA. I think she's a gift for the Democrats. She was wrong on, on deaths. You were right. I fact-checked it on uh, guns being the main yeah, killer of younger children people. Children 1 to 18, yeah. the highest yeah. uh, amount of yeah. children she, killed in that age group were by guns in she, 2021. But she was absolutely certain in her ignorance and uh, being incorrect. Then I just thought it was ridiculous Big Pharma somehow uh, mm. controlling the world. I mean, it's just... It's just so well, Rosetta, it stupid. seems to be this constant sense of conspiracy. Everything's a conspiracy. I'm involved in it. People are telling me what to do. So, just for the record... Nobody at Fox ever tells what to do or say on this show. Um, everyone's involved in some weird conspiracy against her, against Donald Trump. I, I just think, I find that quite exhausting, that it, narrative. It's not only lazy as hell, what about her, you mm. know, blaming other yeah. issues rather than look at the issue at hand, but it's also deeply, deeply concerning, you know, for journalists, for citizens as well. I try to respect that there are different cultural views in America, Second Amendment, gun rights. I appreciate they're different from the UK in these matters. But when you see somebody subverting truth like that, somebody who was formerly a news anchor, I think it's terribly dangerous and terribly concerning. And because, Esther, I mean, look, yeah. when you see... I, I learned the hard way about the gun debate in America. They don't want to hear British people telling them what to do with their laws, right? So I, OK, I get that. We wouldn't like it the other way around either. But when you present yes. a Kinder Surprise chocolate yeah. egg and you know they're banned because they're dangerous to kids, but the biggest killer of kids is guns and nothing gets done and we see these endless school shootings, you just think, well, I when mean, does common sense kick in? To be gracious to her, as far as I can be, she did talk about the mental health issue because the, the, the reality is there are too many people that shouldn't have guns, crazy people that And do obviously have that's true, but we exactly. have mental health issues but, here. But she just skated over the issue. OK, if you're going to take that angle, what exactly do mm. you plan on doing with the mental health and tackling this issue that doesn't infringe upon gun rights? Because mm. it still does, one way or another. And I think that's the point she didn't make. She should have won Arizona. I used to live there. Yeah. It's blue yeah. in the but middle you know, the and truth, red everywhere else. The truth else. is, but she lost in Arizona. It's the crazy and Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. Yeah. And I don't know why they keep banging on mm. about it or trying to sort of deny democracy. Yep. It doesn't do them any favours. I think independents are sick of them doing it. And it's not good for American democracy. Yeah. Everyone no. keeps denying results of election. Pack, they'll leave it there. Thank you very much.